Hello, today we're starting book two of The Legend of Korra. Book two is called Spirits. The first season was amazing. I've fallen in love with the characters. I am so into the story and I heard that the first season, they didn't know if they were going to get more, so it's kind of self-contained. I'm really excited to see where the next uh, adventure is going to go and yeah, let's get started. The Legend of Korra. Hope you guys enjoy. See you guys in the comments. The council was disbanded and the United Republic elected its first president. Tenzin's brother, Commander Boomy, retired and moved to Air Temple Island. There's a president now. That's interesting. Ooh, this thing looks so cool. It's a big uh, jellyfish. Sir? What? A spirit creature. It's pro bending night. Pro bending back. The fire ferrets are about to take on hot fire cover. ferrets. Let's get out there and bend like there's no tomorrow. Who are these guys? <laughs> it's not Cora and Mako. Oh, the fire ferrets go down in the water and uh, right into the record books for the fastest knockout in pro bending history. Wow, they're making history. So I wonder if they're just like backup team members or if Mako and Korra are just out of it doing other things. <laughs> nice moves. I'm assuming that's Mako, but it's really hard to tell with the helmet. Looks like you had some car trouble. Good thing the police are here. <laughs> I think these planes are finally ready to ship. Since your father was thrown in prison, no company will work with us. Don't worry. Uh, I'm going to the South Pole to meet so with someone who can over help the us company. put future industries back on top. Oh, I was gonna say, she looks like she's adjusting well, but she still has a lot of uh, pain that she's carrying. Look at these guys. Look at these airbenders. <laughs> and Uncle Boomy is, is retired and living on Air Temple Island, so I'm excited about that. The Avatar is the winner! You can't go into the Avatar state to win! The Avatar state is not to be used as a booster rocket. <laughs> this is my favorite guy right here. <laughs> You're still a long way from mastering airbending. Punch, punch, punch! Looks pretty good to me. <sighs> is it too late for you to unretire? From now on, it's 24 7 booby time! <laughs> <laughs> Poor Tenzin. Hopefully, our visit to all of the air temples will give you the inspiration you need to delve more deeply into your studies. I can finally relax with my family and give Cora the attention she needs. Great. More attention. We're going to have some real fun in my hometown at the Glacier Spirits Festival. They've got rides, games, and all kinds of fried food on sticks. Oh, hell yeah. And you can't stop me from going to the festival. Mom already invited me. Let's go. So I walk up and say, good thing the police are here. I had a few others. Oh, boy. Looks like you guys should put more try and try it. <laughs> Beifong says if I keep it up, I can make detective soon. All I do is train all day. Tenzin's just trying to help you become the best avatar you can be. That's right. I'm going to take a walk. Why is it so much easier to bust triads than it is to get through one conversation with my girlfriend? <laughs> Love is a very complex thing. We missed you, Aunt Kaya. Oh, he's probably scared I'll beat him up like when we were kids. I'm not scared of you anymore. Anymore? Wow, look at all these people that came out to greet us. Uh, no, they came to greet them. That's a fancy looking ship. The great I like chief it. of the Northern Water Tribe, Hooray. Whoa, who are the lovely ladies? The chief's children. Desna is a guy. Oh no, sure, I knew that. Oh, and which one is Desna? <laughs> the one without eyeshadow? Tonrock. Brother. Family feud? It's a shame the southerners have abandoned all connections to the spirits. This festival used to be a solemn time of fasting and meditation. Now it's just a chance to watch some rube try to stick an entire arctic hen in his mouth. <laughs> it's not the end of the world. Tell that to the sailors who are being attacked by angry spirits in southern waters. Spirits are attacking ships? 
Apparently, you haven't been given all the information you need. It would be my honor to instruct you in the spiritual ways of the Water Tribe. Tenzin is Korra's instructor. So Uncle is the leader of the Northern Water I'm Tribe. I'm glad you came with me to this meeting. So you're my assistant. Just stand there and don't say anything. But I don't think he's really that good at keeping his mouth shut. Did you see that? Levitation! <laughs> it was a foot off the ground! Was he? It looked like you were just sitting on a pillow. <gasps> so much for saying nothing. Well, why didn't anyone tell me? Now I look like an idiot! Swami, you're fired! Oh, no. <laughs> look what you've done. I like you, kid. You're a real straight shooter. Miss Sato, he's with you? Mm-hmm. You gotta check out my new venture. Moving pictures. Julie, do the thing. Jesus. Ostrich horse? Mind-blowing, right? Yeah. Now, forget that! That's the past! Imagine watching this. Ginger, come over here. Do your poses. I'm not bad. I was just born that drawn that way. <laughs> How about that, Tiger Shark? We're gonna do big business. But I'm just concentrating on getting future industries back on track. Stop. Look me in the eye. We got a deal! <gasps> this guy is all over the place. Now! Who wants a rocket boat ride? You are a natural assistant. Are they going to get together? The, the two rejects rebounding on each other? <laughs> Ooh. Since the Avatar is the bridge between the material world and the spirits. Something that she's... That is why I want so badly to teach trouble, you. Had trouble with in the past. I thought I had made it clear that Tenzin is teaching her. I don't see what's wrong with her having more than one instructor. Who I train with should be my decision, Dad. Looks like someone's trying to take your place. Kai is so beautiful. Then you know he's always been sensitive. I'm not sensitive. <laughs> <laughs> Angry spirits are already attacking ships in your waters. I only hope we are not too late to change course. Well, now. Let's have some fun with Wacky Wushu's Dancing Otter Penguins! <laughs> That's Southern Water Tribe hospitality for you. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> Why do they look so gloomy? I'm making my move. Make sure you hit on the right one. Wow, I'm just... I am loving these robes. I think he is trying to establish some kind of bond with you. You amuse me. I will make you mine. You mean like a boyfriend or, or like a slave? Yes. Both. <laughs> okay, uh, freaky at first, but I think I love them both. Tenzin thinks I'm his prisoner. I will never finish training with him in charge. I don't think you're supposed to waterbend. We have a winner! She cheated. You heard what Unalak okay. said. The South is spiritually unbalanced. That is adorable. What do you think I should do? I support whatever decision you make. Oh, big help. I thought you wanted me to be supportive. Make up your mind. Oh, <laughs> just forget it. He's trying his hardest. Aw, poor Mako. <laughs> Women, am I right? <laughs> Naga, hush. I feel like the Avatar needs multiple trainers, right? Aang had lots of teachers. One person can't teach the Avatar everything the Avatar needs to know. I think she should train with Unalak what too. Is that? That is something very scary and creepy and fast! Wow! Got it! Don't got it! But the question is, is the spirit angry because of the Southern Water Tribe and how they're not following tradition, or is it something else? Cora! Oh, Daddy's got some cool moves. Look at that. What have we done to offend you? I don't think he wants to talk. Cora needs to be the one to communicate with him. But Cora said to Unalak or whatever his name is. 
Yes, I want to learn how to fight spirits. And I thought, that's not right. That's not... It's not how Aang would have... That's not what Aang's first thought would have been. It would have been, how do I talk to them? How do I understand them? How do I reason with them? And I don't think just going into Avatar state to try to fight him is maybe the best option right now. Oh, here's Unalak. Yes, he's calming the spirit. This spirit looks really cute now. <laughs> Go in peace. Oh, wow, that was super impressive. How were you able to control that spirit when no one else could? I've spent my life studying the spirits and learning their ways. I could teach you everything I know. Yes, learn. I hope that going to the air temples will help her connect with the past avatars. <sighs> Only I can give her the training she needs Can't to be she a complete do both? avatar. That will not happen. Why is he so against it? Cora, please listen. I'm tired of listening to you. Both of you. I think it's time I had a new teacher. I have to go with him. Please, I know you're well, angry. For a little bit, but not forever. I'm sorry, Tenzin. Why is she breaking up this with him? This is as far as we go. Why can't... Why can't you learn from both? It has been a pleasure serving you, Avatar Korra. Tenzin, wait. No. I think you forgot a couple of things. Mother, I think I need some time alone with my family right now. This is your family, Tenzin. When you get to be my age, you'll be thankful for the time you had with your siblings. Sokka. I'm dying to see that laid-back vacation Tenzin I've heard so much about. I can't get over how beautiful she is. We'll see you soon. <laughs> Do you think I did the right thing? I don't know. But I know your heart is in the right place. Ah, cute. Now it is time to put it behind you and begin your new training. I have great plans for you. Ah, uh, feels kind of ominous. Okay, well, overall, I think that was a very enjoyable episode. We're setting up, you know, things that are to come in the next season. Cora learning from a new trainer, learning more about the spirits and the spirit world and how to deal with them and how to communicate with them. Mako trying to find his place by her side. Asami trying to pick up the pieces of her dad's company and of her heart, I'm sure. And I do think there are more things that Cora needs to learn than what Tenzin can teach her. I just don't understand why she feels the need to kind of cut him out like that. I mean, like I said, Aang had multiple teachers. I don't know why Korra can't also have multiple teachers because Aang had to learn different bendings from different teachers and Korra obviously has to learn different things from different teachers as well. And she struggled to open that spiritual connection through Tenzin's teachings and, you know, to unlock her airbending and her communication with the past avatars and things like that. And it wasn't until a very dire situation, circumstances, that she was able to unlock it. And I'm sure Tenzin's advice probably helped with that. But clearly, like, she needs something a little bit more reliable. Somebody to teach her a little bit more reliably about these things. I just feel a little bit off about kind of how that separation went. And I am not really sure where things are going to go, which is exciting. I see that the cast of characters is going to be very, very colorful, vibrant, and exciting for this season. We have Boomy, we have Kaya, all of our returning characters, of course. And then um, there's a little bit more focus on Korra's dad, as well as Unalak, her uncle. I can't wait to see what's next. Thank you guys for watching. Can't wait to read your comments, see what you guys are thinking. How excited are you for book two? And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye for now.